Hello friends, welcome, welcome back to part seven and the final building part of Let's Build My Dream Home in The Sims 4. This is pre-recorded. Um, I'm away this week, so just to remind you guys that there will be no speed build coming this week. I am away with friends. Um, last time we managed to get most of the uh, kind of barn area finished and completed. Um, this was the ideas that I got from you guys for this area over here. You were saying kind of a reading nook. Um, some people said a little mini office area and obviously a doggo bed for my dog Blue. Um, I was going to add in all of the dog stuff with the detailing thing at the end, but I've been getting lots of requests to put some dog stuff in, so that's what I've done. But yeah, this little area here, it was just a little bit too small to kind of figure out what to do with it, so I thought I'd get some ideas from you guys. And we've used, uh, this is a base game desk that came with a recent patch. And this area over here, obviously, is just like a nice little shelving area. Let's get the lighting better. Let's get a bit of daylight. Um, and a coffee machine as well. A couple of you guys said, why not add in like a little coffee area? So that's what I've done with that area. So thank you guys for those um, requests. I really appreciate your help. I really do. And then the top of the stairs area, what I've done with this area is add in a cheeky little... Um, fitness area so where your sims can come and run with a nice view or they can watch tv with a skylight above it i just love that little like area there i think it's great um and i stuck like a little chair just underneath the stairs just in case your sims will get completely tired out from working their sim asses sim asses yeah we'll go with that and then this area down here which was the guest suite i have made into a gaming room so what I would love is a nice gaming room where you could host your own LAN parties and stuff and have all your friends over and such. Um, that idea came to me. I was like, where the hell am I going to game in this place? Apart from kind of in the office that I'd made. But this is more for video sort of thing. So this is, um, I like the layout of it. I like that it's got this flow through. Still can get access out this way as well to go over into the media room and the uh, living area as well. Media room, I've put carpet down, done the wall details. I'm keeping it quite dark in here. And yeah, I'm keeping it quite dark in here just because um, I would prefer it to be a little bit dark. But today, anyway, I've downloaded lots of lovely, lots of lovely garden CC bits and bobs. We're going to be concentrating on getting the allotment area finished, the media and the big courtyard area in the middle. So that is what we're going to be concentrating on today. Um, and also the guest suite upstairs in the loft area, which I love. It's got these sliding doors with these little Juliet balconies, which I absolutely adore. So I think first things first, we're going to make a start on this allotment area over here. And then we'll move on to everything else as it comes. Um, I've pulled out a few pieces of CC. Lots of this CC are from the Plum Bob Tea Society. I will leave every bit of CC that I use in each episode in the description box below. If you see me use something and I haven't listed it, it's probably because that I've listed it in previous videos. So always go back and check each part for the CC that I will itemize down below. Because I'm just going to use, I'm, I use the description box with the CC for the the bits that I use in each episode. Why, did, why, why was that so fucking hard to say? I have no idea. I'm tired today. Very tired. I'm wearing yellow because I need to bring a bit of sunshine into my life. <laughs> so very bright, very bright. I just see my face then on the monitor. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, I don't want to do this area grass, I don't think. I think I'm going to make this area all stone. Unsure on whether to match it in with this stone or go for a little bit darker. Um, I could even pave it. That would be cool, actually. Let's see what we can do with the paving. Um, let's go into the stone bits over here. Now, I remember those lovely... They're always in a weird place. Where are they? They're in here. I would think those would belong in the stone category more so than the mason. Oh, I don't know. Masonry kind of makes sense as well. We'll leave that and we'll move on. <laughs> do I want to use the broken one? I do really love this texture. Um, I kind of do. Mm, let me see what other colors that th does this come in. Is there anything slightly darker? Yeah, like this. That's a bit better. Yes. Yeah, that will do lovely that was just a little bit too light then and then we'll go inside these greenhouses over here now i have there was only one last time but i have built one um all i did was get a roof pull the roof up curve the roof up at the end 
make the uh, actual texture glass and then put in these windows and doors onto the edges. And I just think that they're, they're suitable for what we're doing here. Now, this here is amazing. I love these things here. They're absolutely incredible. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, a log planter. Didn't even know we had that. We'll keep that one out. <laughs> we'll keep that out. But yeah, this is from the Plum Bob Tea Society. Yep. And it's like a modular kind of allotment kind of growing area, which I really, really love. I think what I'm going to do is do big square ones. So let me just move these down out the way so I'm not getting distracted by stuff and things. And we'll get in the detail of that afterwards. I think what we're going to do, I'm going to change the color of this to begin with <laughs> for that color. Um, This is a gorgeous set. This is the cottage stuff. Set, I think it's called. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, it's a gorgeous set. I would highly recommend you download this uh, CC pack if you haven't already. It is just, it's beautifully done. The graphics match completely perfectly in with the game. Um, and yeah, I'm just all about it, to be honest. I am all about it. All about it. Is that going to be weird? Nope, that's fine. I'm thinking like doing these all the way along and maybe just do two like sort of row ones up here. So I can copy that now. Let's get, leave enough space for them to get in. So there's one space there. So one, two, three. Oh, it's not going to go there. If I can just do two then, if I just get rid of you and we'll do this. Oh, that doesn't clip together. I thought those fit together, but they obviously don't. Damn you. Maybe I'll just do one in the middle, just so it balances it out. Yeah. Yeah, like so. And then maybe these ones here, we're going to go up, leave one space. Let's get the grid on. Let's get that grid on so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, they kind of fit weirdly. I think I have to spin them. Yeah, we'll go there. We'll go there. We'll go there as well. And we'll go there. Uh, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about E3. I'm wondering if anybody watched any of the new games being released on E3. Uh, I'm probably, well, it's a, this is pre-recorded, so I am, this will be very behind for any kind of uh, sort of up-to-date conversation. But there's lots of games coming that I'm very excited about. Very excited about. Right, is it going to be too, let me just try this close to these stairs here. I think it might be, you know. Yeah, it will be. Uh, so what I'm going to do is ignore it and move on. Let's go over to there. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's loads of games I'm looking forward to. The new Watch Dogs looks very interesting, I think, because it's kind of set in a futuristic London. It does look really interesting. I'm really excited about seeing more of that. The only thing that really bugged me about the trailer at E3 um, was the awful British accent that people... <laughs> That the voice like the voice actors were doing it was just it was so bad it was so bad and I think what it is I heard another person say it as well is um I think it's an Americans trying to do like a Cockney accent and it just sounds so bad <laughs> it's it just I I was cringing at it I really was um but that was the only bad thing about it everything else looks really interesting um let me know what you're excited for there's a few others but I won't bore it with you in this uh this playthrough. See, that looks cute. That does look cute. It's making me wonder. No, I'm not going to put a fence up there. Right, I'm going to, what I'm going to do though is detail around the grassy bit here that's poking through in the stone. We don't want that. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much as always for your feedback on my last uh, part of this. I can't, can't ask for better viewers I really can't you lot are absolutely lovely you really are and you look after each other in the comments as well which is which I've noticed and it's good it's a good thing let's keep it that way let's keep this place a big massive sanctuary of positivity and nice people let's keep all the shits out shall we we'll, we'll have to do that collectively as a community we've got all roping together to do it yeah that's cute I'm happy with that now, with these, I'm going to keep to a bit. I learned with this by doing my off-the-grid builds. I'm going to keep to a bare minimal of planters that I put inside here. Um, we'll go for the wood ones. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one there, one there, one there, one there. 
Maybe one there. Let's just see how that would work. I'm unsure if it will work. Um, let's move you down just one. And then we'll copy them over to here as well. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Main reasons being is sometimes it's they can't go into these places and they can't water things. But we'll keep these planters for like plants that are out of season that you can grow in any season then um but yeah we'll do it that way um so far i'm not really going to be adding way too much detail around this area i'm kind of happy with that layout and we'll obviously grow all different things in each like little segment i think that'd be really cute um and these will look alive once we have uh, littered them with plants i tell you um this is lovely. Look at this. Like it's like a tip top bucket with these beautiful like flowers like dripping out of it. I love it. And they come in loads of different colorways. I absolutely love that. Um, I'm thinking maybe popping these like by the entrance to the stairs. That could be pretty cute. Just have a little look at that. Let's move you in just ever so slightly. Ever so slightly there. Let's have a little look at this. Yeah, that's lovely. Just like pouring out flowers. I love that. Nice little bit of detail with that here. Again, I don't want to mess around with the... So we'll, we'll plonk that there. We'll plonk that there. Um, we've got, we've got loads of lovely bits. We have. We've got absolute tons of lovely bits. But um, I don't like the wood colour on that. And I remember that being the only kind of wooden tone. I could go like darker but the rest of the wood looks quite red i mean that's not too bad yeah i kind of like that um we'll stick this by the stairs like right at the edge of the stairs there and then we'll turn you the other way if you will i think or to like there and then we'll move you in there they still should be able to get in that area if not we can always morph it around and change it if needs be um oh these are nice as well look look at these it's like in a big, like, old kind of sink. I absolutely love that. Um, I'm all about it, actually. All about it. Anyway, we're going to leave that allotment area for, alone for the minute. I think that will, the detail will come in on its own there. I know we have to add, like, a um, hose pipe and stuff to water the plants and such. But I think just for the minute, I'm going to leave it be... Um, one thing, actually. Let me just try something. I'm just going to give something a go, see if it works. Um, you Aren't you really, like, chocolatey? Yeah, you are. I don't want it like that. I want it a bit flatter. I think the flattest we can go is probably this one. Is that too light? Hmm, kind of is, but I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to frame this in, actually, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to frame it in. Frame it in, my loves. And then it just stops that weird, like, sort of perfect-looking sort of edge from looking too artificial. I don't enjoy that. I'm not about it, my friends. I am not about it. But yeah, as I'm speaking now, I will be up in Brighton. So if there's anybody in Brighton uh, and they see me out with my friends, very drunk, then do not be afraid to come up and say hello. I had a tweet of somebody the other week when I was out with my friends in Plymouth, which is the city that I live in. Um saying, if someone saw you out with, in a pub in Plymouth City Centre, would it be okay for them to come up and say hello? And I was literally just got home from the pub. So I was like, someone saw me. And I was like, yes, of course. Like, if you ever see me anywhere, do not be afraid to say hello. Like, I would love to interact with you guys. I've met a few of you guys before, like in random places. Um, and it always blows my mind. I think the cutest one was uh, a, guy, a little guy called... I think he was called Connor. I think it was Connor. Um, he came up to me in Boots, uh, which is like a... Let me see if these will work in here. Which is like a uh, kind of toiletry sort of shop in the UK. Um, and he came up with his dad and said, I watched your video. And it was so, so cute. I was really embarrassed. I was like, hello. <laughs> oh, I, but yeah. So if you ever see me around anywhere... Come up and say hello to me. It would mean the world. Anyway, let's move on. This area here, I really want this to be a entertaining area. And I think this needs to be under canopy. It really does need to be under canopy. So I'm going to try and make my own. 
Now, I did download a bit of CC, but I'm unsure as to whether it downloaded properly because there was a bit of corrupted CC that I didn't like. Oh, these were the doors that I was going to put here. I forgot about that. Like some sliding doors. Because like, I could do one there. We'll move those planters now. Um, And the other one, like here. Oh, that's not that button, Aiden, for goodness. And then maybe those could like slide across so you can't sort of get access into that bit. I kind of enjoy that. Yeah, I think we'll leave that there. I think we'll leave that there. These do these things are from um uh la 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 la, la. where are you? Uh here we are. Oh yeah, they're Plum Bob Tea Society again. So I the majority of the stuff that I will be using in the garden today will be from them. Um I just enjoy their content. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, this is plainly done. We still need to get lighting and stuff in, but I'm trying to leave as much as possible for the last episode, which is the next one, to be able to go in and cram detail. Like even like these areas around here, you know, it looked pretty bare to me. Um, the uh, terrain paint can do with a little bit of work. We'll do all that in the final episode. But anyway, so this area here, I really want an entertaining space where we can bring people out from the kitchen area and we can sit under the canopy, enjoy some drinks, etc, etc, etc. You get what I mean? Lovely. Now I did, these These are really cool. We did do like a modular, or I did download a modular like sort of patio set, but also some gorgeous tables. Um, and I'm unsure, and look at this. This is from the Plum Bob Tea Society as well. Look at that. And this, this is using like, uh, objects in game already. That's like a base game uh, sort of bench that we've got there and it's connected with the thing that we got from um, Get Together, I think it's from. But um, I definitely want to use this somewhere. I'm unsure where just yet, but I will keep it out for future. Oh no, don't tell me that's glitched. I just put it down and it pooped away. Oh, it's bloody glitched, friends. Oh, I'm gutted about that. I really wanted to. I really wanted to use that. Damn you to hell. Oh, and this outside sink. Don't be glitched. No, it's not. Oh, this. Oh, warning. What? An error has occurred. <gasps> Take a break, deep breath, connect and exit the game. I'm good to save. Hmm. I, I was unsure on what that warning thing was. I think it was maybe to do with that like glitched out chair or something. But my game is saved. So nothing is... We're not gonna we're not gonna die or anything. We're gonna be okay. I'm gonna carry on and see what happens. Pfft. That's probably the biggest mistake you've ever made. Decoration wise, there is where well, there was something I wanted to check to see if it was in here. Let's filter everything to custom content. Look at these gorgeous like sashes as well. Look. Lovely, lovely. I'm not gonna go through and show everything, but I do enjoy all of the bits. We'll bring we'll take you out. That's a nice little Nope. I did download a hot... We'll keep you out as well. I want some wood for the fires all through this house. Um, I did download a, a hot tub, but I think the hot tub was broken as well. Because I would like a hot tub down here somewhere. Yeah, it didn't download. Didn't download. Maybe if I put it in this area. Or would a square one be better? Let's have a look. I do want a hot tub in the garden. I don't mind it's right in the middle either. I'm going to frame it around with some uh, half walls as well. I prefer the top being dark, I think. So I'm going to do it all in black. Um, I'm going to pull you in, actually, just there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's cute. We'll do that one that way. And then it looks like it's kind of sunken in then. Uh, let's get a little half wall around it as well. How tall would you be next to it? Oh, my Christ. Oh, God. That's a bit too big. No, that's a bit too small. Hmm, we're just going to have to go with this one. Right, that is annoying me. So let's do it this way. <laughs> uh, oh, that's really bugging me there. What about if I just do that? Did that change something up there then? No. Okay. Right, so... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's going to stick out weirdly there. I know it would be better if I, like, just pulled in a square there, but I really don't want to. We'll keep it like that for the minute and we'll see what happens. Now, I enjoyed that the wood went the other way. So, 
If you know what I mean, it was, we usually do like these vertical slats. They were all horizontal. So maybe if I use a horizontal moment. Is this the right wood? Is that a bit darker than that, darling? It is. It looks darker. Um, that's not the right colour either. That is not the right colour. That is. That there is, my friends. There we go. Right, you to you. Oh. And on this side, boop, 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 boop. Yes. Right, and then I'll add in the black trim. Excuse you. The black trim round to these parts here. Not liking this. It keeps glitching out weirdly. Yeah. Yeah, that looks cute. And there's a little area for them to come in and get in to the pool if they so wish. If they so wish. Anyway. What I'm thinking here is like a corner kind of moment, maybe coming out a bit and then a canopy over the top to sort of stop people from getting wet. Because you know what the weather is like in the UK. You can never trust it. Yeah, but these are really cute. These are from um, Pixel Dream World. They're like a modular kind of little seat set. Um, and they come in really, really cool colorways that you can sort of fit with everything, which is nice. The only thing that I didn't really enjoy about it is the little wheels on the bottom. I get why they're doing that, so you can move the furniture around as whenever you wish, but I would have preferred if they didn't have the wheels on the bottom, just for aesthetic reasons. But it's a gorgeous piece of CC anyway, it really is. And the graphics are quite nice. They do match in quite well. So I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna use it. Right, you also said that. Let me just get the corner piece in. So the corner piece like goes like that, obviously. Why is that higher? Oh yeah, shit, it's gone up the foundation. <laughs> Oh, so it won't allow me to... That's annoying. I suppose because of how it's sitting. So if I put that there, change it to the colorway what we want. I'm definitely going to use the darker wood. It just fits nicely with the flooring. It blends in really well. Um, And if I pull that to there... See? That's a bit long now. Let's, um, let's curve you inwards, sweetie. Oh, was that one better? I suppose that one goes around the other way, doesn't it? Okay. Um, carry on. Carry on. And then if I put that to there, and then I could just do maybe two more. Yeah, two more. That's cute. The wheels bug me, but we're going to look past it and pretend that they're not there. Um, I'm going to do a fire pit here. So this area here, I would like to house... Um, there was something... No, it's not in furniture. Is it in this bit? Where is all my custom content? Right. Um, where are you? Where are you? This what? This bit here. I know this is massive, but I can size this down so it kind of covers it nicely. Um, will we get a match in wood? I hope so, because this is from Peacemaker. It should match in well. I mean, that's not too bad of it. I know it's a blacker, flatter wood, but it does blend in quite nicely. Now I'm hoping that we can just plonk it down without it floating. Definitely not. It's still going to float. And it's very low now. <laughs> you would hit your head on that. It swamps it. It does swamp it. This is from Peacemaker as well. This is a sort of garden... Um, sort of canopy area, but I, I find the actual object very big. I think it's one of the only objects that I don't really enjoy. What's this? What is that? Oh, it's window things. Um, Yeah, it's one of the only objects I don't really enjoy from Peacemaker. One of the only. And there's me being all negative Nancy about it. I'm sorry. Right, that's cute, but I don't know. Uh, we'll keep it out anyway. It looks like a cheeky little water feature. Um, I think we're going to have to make our own here. I think we're going to have to make our own canopy moment. The only problem is, is it's very... The, we're on like medium height wall, so it would be quite high up. So maybe if I can go in and use like a canopy area where it's just on the wall decorations. Like one of these. Yeah, we'll use this. Uh, 
Oh, should I do it in black? If I size that up, though, it's going to make the ivy look really weird. But I could put one like there. I'm going to try it. We're going to trial something here. See what happens. All right, one. Is that behind it? It is. It's kind of working, I think. Um, And then maybe just behind this one here as well. I mean, it's not, you're not getting much cover. <laughs> so it's kind of defeating the object. But does that go right on the edge there? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's better like that. That goes right into there now. Are you floating? No, you're not. Good. Because I would have slapped you right across your left cheek. Right. Is that po poking in? No. I kind of like that. Yeah, I do. I like that. I mean, you're not again, you're not going to get much cover out of it. And I don't really enjoy that. So, oh, you bugger. Right there. I'm not going to be able to do it there. Because it will creep into the wall. Let's just keep it as it was, just for the minute. Because I'm wasting too much time on that. But something like that there with a nice cheeky little coffee table. Um not get together let's see what custom content we've got shall we custom content oh oh that's pretty this is like made out of an old palette or something i enjoy that i like that one that's really nice this is again this is from plum bob tea society i think i'll do it that way yes yes queen i enjoy it yeah, and just to add a little bit of separation, we're going to use a half wall on this bit here. Just to, just for extra, extra loveliness. Is that a bit too high? If I just, what about if I use this one? Yeah, we'll use the little cheeky one. Oh no, I'm, I'll, I can go around the back of there, it's fine. I just thought, shite, shite. But if I go around the back of there like, that don't take any wallpaper off of anything and it has why does it do that why is that bug still in the game seriously why <laughs> oh answer me why <laughs> right okay um can i do all of that i can can i do all of that without changing anything new no. so we do it that way oh no, I didn't. Did I change stuff then? No, I didn't. Um, uh, this one, orderly. There we are. Yeah, that kind of makes it nice. It's going to be look a lot better once we've got plants and stuff in that area as well. As in... Oh, I know what I could do on these little half walls now. We could add some, like, candles. Like, some lanterns. And the detailing part as well will be all of the lighting as well. We'll look at all of the lighting everywhere. This is how I normally build. Um... We'll look at all the lighting everywhere to see where we can put more light in. Uh, again, with outside, I'm going to be lighting up the outside area as well. Uh, do it. You can never hear when I go back to here, but do excuse Blue. He's snoring away. Oh, these are just plain pillar candles. Look at these cute little mason jars as well. Oh, beautiful. Is that a candle? Oh, that is. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what it is. <gasps> yeah, we'll do that. So these mason jars, do they come in all different? They do. So if we pop one there, one there around that way, and then one. Oh, I'm sure we can add two there, actually. Two there. Maybe another one there. And then these here, a little like fairy like that you can pop inside you can pop inside this oh let's have a little look at night shall we look at that now you can't tell me that isn't fan fucking tastic that's so cute so cute love it i'm all about that life um okay yeah i'm happy with that now what i'm gonna do here is is that some there it is oh, excuse you Thank you. 
I'm going to lift these up to hopefully the right height and plonk them all across this sort of trellis um, canopy area. Let's get another one. Lift another little bastard up in the air. Come up here, you little shit. <laughs> uh, awful. Awful! And another one. And another consonant, please, Carol. Uh, there we go. Stunning. And then we'll move it. I think that one's creeping in just ever so slightly. There we go, darling. Lovely. Oh, that's cute. I like that little area now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, This little bit here, I do want a fire pit moment here. Um, I wish I downloaded some or had a look for some CC fire pits, but the fire pits that we got aren't too bad, especially with this one because we can use the black. And it's like sort of enclosed in that area as well. I'll get these down here and I'll pop you like there. Say like there, darling. Yeah, go and squidge in. Yes. And then this. And then I'm going to use... What should we use outside? Sort of uh, around the fire pit for seating. Hmm. That's the question. Let's have a look at the custom content. It's got these little benches, which are really cute. Especially because they come in the dark wood texture as well. They don't look very comfortable though. I'd prefer like a comfy seat. These are nice actually. They'd be perfect. I could put a cushion in them too. So if I... Does it come in a darker one? I'm sure it does. Or is that the darkest it goes? Oh, it's this one. That's very chocolatey then though. I think we'll just use the brown. We'll use the brown and then if we want to change it, we can. Um, We'll put three there. Now I need to think about the flow through. So I don't really want my back. Uh, I suppose I could. It'd be very lonely sat in that seat by yourself though. <laughs> um, I'm thinking maybe like, can you just go like that? Yeah, like that. Oh, that's gorgeous. I mean, that does blend too much into the wood. I think we should use some I think we should do some colour. Maybe like a... Maybe like a nice... I do like that dark blue. It's very pretty. Not outside. Not outside with the bright colours, sweetie. Maybe just lighten it up into this wood. Yeah, we'll lighten it up. We'll lighten it up to this one. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, I liked the way that was blending into the wood, but I do want that area to just pop slightly. I think it would work much better. Much better indeed. So there's an entrance down this way. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> if I plonk in a wall. Excuse you. A wall in that height there. And I'll use that way of doing it so it doesn't get rid of wallpapers. Carry on with this. Along. Same on that side. It's done. Um, this could be a good barbecue kind of area then. And then we can have like a big outside dining area here. Um, and over this way, I'm a bit unsure on what to do in this area. But we'll come to that in a sec. We'll come to that in a sec. You're going to go away for a second and we're going to come back to you. Um, we'll get a barbecue area in. We'll use just one of the generic ones. I think I'll just use the black one, actually. So I, I put it closer. I'll do it like there. And then I'll go into the kitchen bits and bobs. Into there. Um, don't want anything that would look kind of wood. We'd, we would want it to be concrete outside. Uh, if I use you... Yeah, you're all wood. Where are you? Is this one? It's the same one what I used inside. I know it's got a black colorway, but the top stays wire. Oh, no, it doesn't. <gasps> oh, I didn't even know it had these. Oh, yes, I did. I didn't even, I thought I didn't know it had those colorways, but yeah, I wanted something like this, but in black. There we go. Right. Um. And then I can plonk in this over here as well. 
Oh, it's three. Okay. Well, if it's three, I'll just use them. And then uh, let's see if what colorways you come in. I hope you come in a bit more of a flatter wood. That doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, look at these gorgeous textures on this. Stunning. Yeah, we'll use that one. Mm, I'm going to put you there. <laughs> you just weren't working for me there. If I plonk that there. Yeah, that looks nice. Because then they can come down and sort the garden area for the allotment and stuff out to go up there as well. And also use the sink from this area. Now that this is here, like that though, this looks weird to me. Maybe if I do two. Um, I'm going to put a bin. Mm, I'll put a bin on the edge. I want to frame it in well. Yeah, if I do that. Mm-hmm. And then we can put in the cooking stuff. I'll plonk a few bits up there now. But as I said, most of the detailing, I want a big long episode of just detailing. And I know there's a few of you out there really looking forward to that part. So I'm glad because it's my favorite part to do. When I get to the end of a build and then I go through and re-detail everything. <gasps> oh, incredibly moist. Yeah, we'll plonk those utensils there for the minute. That looks cute as hell. Can we, is that a space underneath there? It is. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Little cheeky watering can. I do like this, but I'm thinking this would probably do well um, in the grassy area out the front, maybe. Because we're going to be doing this here as well. Um, just detailing it a little bit more when it comes to detailing. I'll leave that there for the minute. I'll put it right there so I don't forget about it. Um... And we'll concentrate on finishing off this area. Now I am going to actually, now I'm looking at it, I am going to just half wall this edge off just here. Please don't delete everything. Oh my God, it didn't. Holy tits. There we go. Do I want to do it that way as well? No. Nope. Nope. Shan't. There we go. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So a little barbecue moment and then a big dining room area here. I'm not sure if I want to put the dining room area under a canopy. I might do and use that peacemaker thing. That big canopy that I didn't really enjoy. <laughs> um, Let's have a little look. Isn't it? Oh, and, oh, yeah. I forgot about these. Look at these. Soil bags or compost even. So that'll look really cute outside. Like the, oh, I could even put them in the middle like... Oh, yes. Yes. I know it's creeping in a little bit. Maybe just size it down slightly. There we go. Yes. It's a little composting bags. These are from um, Gary's Potting Mix with Macromax. I don't understand what that means. Where is it? Who, who do you do? Converted from What Remains of Edith Finch. What? I didn't even know. That's one of my favorite games. Yes. Yeah, that looks cute there. What's this? Vintage kitchen scale. That's cute. Um, the thing I am looking for, though, and I'm getting heavily distracted once again, is this. Now, we're obviously not going to be using it that big. And I don't want it that near to the kitchen either. Yeah, we'll size it down one and change the tone. We go back the other way. Nope. Uh, may is it that one? Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, and that big as well. And we'll fix it maybe onto the end here. And the dining room table can fit underneath that quite nicely then. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. God, I'm so... I apologise for today. I have gone as... I've gone crazy today through tiredness. <laughs> They have got the matching uh, table there, but I really enjoy this one. I looked at this. I thought, oh, God, that's gorgeous. It's like made out of like an old wire roll or whatever you would call it. I do not know. Oh, that's a nice colorway. Oh, that one's even better. So, like, imagine this like here. Is that in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Didn't look like it then. Probably from where I am. Yes. Yeah, imagine that like there. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm just pulling out bits now like, oh, isn't that lovely? Um, oh, they look really cute. Lovely, those are. Uh, these are from Wyatt Sins. 
Um, for, but from Plum Bob, Plum Bob Tea Society, I think White Sims was the creator. It was like a collective of different creators, I think, for this pack. I'm unsure, but my God, is, they did really well. Um, yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling that. These are lovely as well, though. They're a bit more alpha. You can see like the graphics don't sort of fit with the Maxis, but I enjoyed them. I did enjoy them. We won't use them though. What about you? Nah, you're a bit too cottagey. <laughs> cottagey is the word for today, okay? I know you enjoyed my words in the last one. What was it again? I can't remember, but it was bloody awful. <laughs> it was bloody awful. There we go. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, and I think what I'm going to try and do is maybe canopy this area in decorations, filter items, custom content. Um, do, 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 do. What about here? Oh, we've got all these gorgeous ivy pieces as well. Oh, cups. Oh, oh, I'm going to put them in the kitchen. I think they would fit well in here. Uh, where's my coffee machine? It's there. So I would want them like quite sort of near the coffee. Do you come in a different... Uh, I may as well keep it in white actually because of the... Or at least the lighter wood because of the shelving. Let's just move you down. Move. I put Blue's treats here as well. Yeah, move you down to like there. Yeah, that looks pretty cute. You can just grab a cup then. See, I told you I'm going to be getting distracted. Oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> See, I'm just... I'm like, ooh, things. Things and stuff. Do you come and just... That was a plain one then, wasn't it? What do you go? How big do you go? Let me see if I can do something here. Oh. Oh, I enjoy that. I think I'm going to try mixed. Oh, I need to remember these as well. See, I'm getting too excited. Look at these. Look, like little wire holders. Oh, I love that. Um... Yeah, maybe if I try to mix these here up with some uh, curtains, like some white curtains. I enjoy that. I do. I do enjoy that. Um, lighting wise, I would love a light to hang from here, but it's not going to because of the ceiling height, which is annoying. So I think what I might have to do is try and make up my own light. Um, <laughs> hmm. Do, do, do. Because look, if I tried to put like a ceiling light here now, it would just, it wouldn't go, you know what I mean? It kind of fits above it because of the ceiling height on the inside. Now I could put like a dangly one, but I'm not going to because that is silly and we are not about that. Oh, that looks really good though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, What can we do? What can we, I'm just going to have a little think. I'm going to use this lantern. Um, I think I can kind of, oh, I'm going to have to move the table for a start. Um, and I can hang a few of these maybe. Let's have a little look. See what we can do. It's all about improvi improvising, my friends. All about improvising. This is the middle one. Will it go into the middle? I have no idea. Probably not. There we are. That's the middle. I was right. Now is that connected or is it floating? It's connected it might it come down one more actually two more no one more oh christ christ that's not connected at all <laughs> one more there we go yeah we'll do maybe three of them yeah we'll do three of those little cheeky lantern moments one there one say like on this one boop 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 do 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 i can never see the height that i'm using it um one more or is that oh no there's one more as well oh for goodness god you are fussy right and then here we'll plonk you there is that gonna be oh that would do for the minute that would do for the minute and then let's just raise this all the way up for the minute um, oh, that's too high, the other one. <laughs> Damn! 
And so, oh, we'll come back to that. I'm not fussing around with lifting up things. You get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea. We'll come back to that, my dears. Ah! Uh, yeah. Um, let's get one of these on this side as well. Uh, boop, boop, boop. And a size up. And then a lift. A lift. I think that is the not the right height. <laughs> yeah, I think this one is. Boop. There we go. Okay, so we got we haven't got one on this side just yet. So I may as well just do that while I'm here. May as well do that while I'm here. There we go. That will do for the minute and we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that bit as well. Um and not off camera. We'll come back to that when we go to do the detailing bit. The detailing like episode's gonna be long. I will warn you now. I know this one here is probably going on a bit long as well, and we haven't really got much done. Um but yeah, this area is starting to look good. Obviously, it needs plants and stuff everywhere. But again, I don't want to add too much in at this moment. I want to do that in that whole episode. I think that episode will be really fun. Really, really fun. And what I'm going to do in that final episode as well is I'm going to get my sim self and my partner. who have we've I've my friend Amber, a.k.a. Skelebro. Hello, Amber. <laughs> she made me in The Sims. So I am going to use that sim self and I have made my partner in the sims as well. And it looks very, very much like him as well, which is, which is really funny. So you guys will have to check that out. You'll have to check it out. I think today what I'm going to do is um, finish off this area here. And I still, I think what I'm going to do is do this off of camera because I'm just not going to get the time to fit this into the episode today. I know I'm not. Um... So apologies for that, my friends. But again, I will show you what we're doing up here. Uh, I will show you what we're doing up here because next time is going to be a big, long ass episode. So I think what we'll do now is get the theater room done. And I think the lighting that I want to choose in here is just really, really soft wall lighting. And I know that Spa Day did an amazing... Um, oh, what am I doing? Did amazing wall light this one here that just gives off a little faint glow, which I enjoy. I do enjoy that. And then that's enough lighting in here. I don't want this place to be lit at all, really. Let's go into nighttime. It's got moody lighting look. Oh, it's so moody. <laughs> so moody. Yes. Right. Let's get you into the daytime. You. Guys, you probably can't see anything in this room. I do apologize. <laughs> but what I would love, I would love big, squishy, comfy armchairs. Um, oh, now they don't really go with the us there. Oh, these would. Yes, those would work well. Now I've got to bring this out into the light to see what color to use. I would probably go for a red. I just, I automatically think of red. When I think of cinema chairs, I don't know why, because they're always black or grey. <laughs> but I think it's the big posh, like, bougie ones. Let's get that grid on. Where's the TV screen? Okay, so we'll do... One there. One there. One there. One there. Um, And I think I'm going to fit... They, wish... they will be able to get... Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be perfect. Let's get that grid off now. And then on either side, I'm going to do like a little table. Yeah, these here. Yeah, these here. And I'm going to do these in a black. There we go. Lovely. Or plonk. One there. One there. And I'm going to put maybe a lamp, actually. I'm going to put a lamp on these. I know I didn't want much lighting in here, but maybe a nice little soft, soft lamp would look cool. Um, Do, do, do. What can we use? These brighten it up way too much. But I could fix that in a bit too. Uh, There's just not the feeling that I want in here. Candles. Candles would look great. I know we've got these. Where are they? Um. Yeah, like these pillar ones. I know you're like, you, you've lose. I had someone say, the candles in this place is a fire hazard. I was like, yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> but no, they don't fit in here. They don't fit in here. Um, Yeah, they kind of are, but I'm a whore for candles. Are there any other candle whores out there? Oh, these give off a really nice glow. And we can just pretend they're like popcorn bags. 
Yes. In fact, let me move, let me shuffle it right to the edge. Because then we've still got space to put stuff down as well. If I do that to there. And then we'll do a little popcorn area in the back area, maybe. Let's try. I don't think it fit in. It might do, it might not. Let's see what kitchen counters we can use. Just at the back area here, darling. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, like this. Bit in a block. And we'll just do two little moments at the back here and put... Oh, I could put a bar there. If I can... Oh, what am I doing? If I can go into here, get a CC bar out. Oh, no, it's very big. That's what they all said. <sighs> hmm. They might squidge. They might be too squashed to get in that area. What about if I just push it right in? I know, it, will it cut out the other side? I mean, it will, but what I could do with that is make that disappear by going here, grabbing these in green, and then just whifting that on the top like that, darling. And that should still work. Yep, I enjoy it. Um, and also a popcorn machine in the appliances to the kitchen area. Where are you? I can't see. <laughs> there you are. And popcorn. Let's bring you in a red as well. Then we've got a popcorn area for in here too. That's pretty. Yeah, I like that. Just softly lit. Really, really minimal. I'm happy with that area. Happy, happy. Now, I'm unsure of what to do here. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe do that area next time like the detailing episode but i'll give you guys because i really enjoyed getting your feedback we need i need some ideas for here guys what we're going to do here what are we going to put in this area over here is completely up to you but you got to remember try and think of it from sort of my perspective um i know a few people were like oh put an easel on this bit blah, blah, but i don't i'm not an artist this is a house meant for me um so yeah, what do you think I should do there, my friends? What do you think we should do there? Um, but other than that, I think this is where we're going to leave today's episode. So this was the final kind of building episode. We will be building, obviously, next time. But I, this is kind of all connecting quite well now. Do you see what I mean? Like, the, once the whole lot comes together, it kind of brings everything and it makes it a space rather than this big, vast thing. I know it's a huge house. Um, what are we up to? Price-wise, 455,000 simoleons. <laughs> so yeah, next time, um, next time is going to be the final big detailing episode of this. Now, don't worry, I am going to be bringing Let's Builds to my channel constantly from now on. So it will be content that I will be releasing as with Speed Builds. I do need a little break from it, to be honest. I need a couple of weeks just to refresh and just... Get some because it's, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to do this compared to speed builds. Um, so what I will do is I'll put up a big poll on what you guys think we should build next for our let's build. There's so many ideas I've got swimming in my head. So after the final episode, I'll release a poll and then we'll see what the community wants me to build as a let's build series. So we will always now be continuing to sort of bring let's builds into my channel but yeah guys thank you so much for watching me thank you so much for supporting me these past few years it's been amazing i feel like i'm dying or something <laughs> but um but yeah i will see you all in my next build bye everyone